Hello everyone, welcome back to Caves of Blood. We had just last left off on a new Esper character who needed to make their way to Gritgate. We just finished up the Red Wire quest, so let's do that. We made it without incident, lucky us. Okay. Smack these jellies and then run. Turn on. Oops, let's turn on sprint. There we go. Very nice. Live to fight another day. Let's go ahead and bask. Nice. Now we're nice and quick. Hello there, centipede. Excuse me, sorry. There's a lot of mobs out here. And be careful of this quillipede. Let's run away. Those quills really hurt, we don't have that much HP. Okay, there's the stairs, so let's go ahead and go down. Now would be a good time to chill. Whoops. My dude got frozen. Now I'm frozen. Alright, let's kite this thing while we wait. Okay. And I believe that was with cold resistance on my character. Or, not my character, but my Farmer Jack. Oops. These worms are really trying to surround us, but we're not going to let them. This high willpower is so nice. Everything's just off cooldown pretty pretty quickly. Turn down the music just a little bit on my end. It's like so... So loud. Okay. That's better. Alright, let's go ahead and go down. If you've never been to Great Gate, once you reach um, the third level, you basically just would go north, and it'll lead you straight to the uh, place that you need to be. Okay. Sorry, Jack. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we need to run. Oh. 
Jones. There we go. There's some more chill available for us. We'll focus on the crab. And we need to wait a few more turns. I think we'll make this centipede run away from us. That way we can step back. Okay, let's get rid of the spark tick. There we go. Ah. So, unfortunately, Farmer Jack died to a way droid for some reason. That's really unfortunate. Uh, darn. Okay, well, it was nice having him as a companion while it lasted. And we do need to find someone new ASAP. For the time being, we'll take this little worm. It's better than nothing. Um... They have pretty terrible stats, I think. And I'm relatively sure that they have just a large focus in strength, but we'll take a look at real fast. Well, whenever they come back. Whoops. Level 11. Very nice. Uh, what do we want? We're so close to proselytize, or however you say it. Okay. We didn't actually get a chance to look at <laughs> our other companion, unfortunately. I think I might grab the spark tick as well. And now I'm, I am curious about this one. So they have a lot of agility, decent toughness, but of course like their actual mental capacity is almost non-existent. Um, pretty low HP too. And it seems like they are specialized with short blade. Cool. I don't think I've ever had a spark tick as a companion, but it should be interesting. We'll probably just keep playing in that sort of style, picking up random friends until we find a legendary, I imagine. Jeez, I'm ready for something with better scaling. There's a lot of spark ticks. Froze that one. Okay. Let's move on. Ah, there it is. There are the stairs. Fine wafer. Nice. Okay. I don't want to chill this because it would destroy that equipment. There seems to be a lot of interesting things here. Carbide battle axe and some steel gauntlets with chainmail as well. Those are pretty cool items to find. And I actually forgot to look at um, what body spot, uh, spots our companion has. Oh, I can't attack if I'm overburdened. Derp. Um, that's okay. Let's drop these. So let me re re do that real quick. Seems like they have three sets of legs. So we'd have to find three pairs of, of boots to make sure that their ace, their armor value is appropriate. Because it actually averages out per limb. Uh, so yeah, we need a lot of boots. Not really sure that it would be we're spending too much time on. So I don't know that we plan to keep it. <laughs> and I was thinking about putting on the steel gloves, but I think I'd rather have the bonus to agility. Let's identify this, if we can. There we go. Blaze injector. Okay. Another fix it spray foam, which we don't really care too much about. Caring too much to move. Oh, 
What's this? A masterwork flamethrower. <laughs> well, we're keeping that. What do we need to get rid of? Maybe all these torches. For now. Because we do have a glow spear. <sighs> okay. That should be good for now. We're getting pretty low on water, though. So we need to trade once we get into Grid Gaped, which should be right up here, honestly. There is a Slumberling, which is kind of terrifying. But I think we could take it with Sundermind. There we go. Very nice. Make sure you select the quest option. And now they want us to go to a very terrifying place called Golgotha. Um, well, we don't want to go to Golgotha. Not yet. We are not prepared. In the slightest. So, let's go find some adventure. We'll get some more levels, get some more equipment. Let's destroy this Wadroid who's attacking my companion for some reason. Okay, you're on your own. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Little spark tick. You will be... Missed. Could take a high chief hermit. Ah, don't really want it. Let's see. Have we been to these desert canyons with Sugapod? Don't think so. Okay. Getting lost in the flower fields. We see a goat man. We could dash up to him and try to take him real quick. But it is pretty spooky. And there's actually a road here, so we may be approaching Baylaw. Okay. Got a Naftali Stalker. A Naftali Run. We don't want that. And here's the legendary, uh, that we might be interested in having. So I think let's grab one of these first. Okay, so we have a slight distraction. Now let's back up. And these guys are really fast, actually. So let's take care. Let's do a quick chill. And then let's sunder the mine of the guy to the north of us. Okay. Now let's continue to retreat. We need four turns to beguile this legendary. That bat's so annoying. Yeah, that wasn't good. Uh oh. Does it not work? Your mental attack does not affect them. Oh dear. We may just be dead here then. Yeah, that is the case. Well, GG. Another dead run. <laughs> See you next time.